Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with my best of 2023. And like I noted when I did my six month video, which I wasn't going to do, but the drugstore kind of exploded this year with a whole bunch of not just new products, but like whole new lines of makeup um, that came out. And so uh, I went ahead and I cleaned up my whole desk for this video and now it looks like a bomb went off and all the uh, complexion products are everywhere. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started and um, we'll uh, go ahead and go through the best complexion products of 2023. And uh, there's a lot of them because this was a big year for drugstores. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll get started with what I have on my face real quick. Um, and I did go ahead and use one of the new products. Uh, it's the, let's see, Hard Candy Glow Serum Primer. And then I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. And this one is in Neutral 55. So this is my foundation today. I use the Incognito. Um, and this is by Wet n Wild as far as my concealer. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the cheeks, I went ahead and used Unique um, by LYS. So this is one of the newer of the LYS. Um, it was in the higher standards for this coming or for this holiday. And so that's what I have on as well as the powder from Essence. And this one is in Bold Cheeks. And um, so that's what this one looks like. So I have these two on today. And they're both uh, leaning really dark burgundy cranberry kind of colors. And then as far as what I went ahead and used for the eyes, it's a palette that I haven't got to film with yet. So um, it's by or by Odin's Eye, and it's called the Flora Story Palette. And uh, Makeup Just by Fun, Amanda did the collab on this with Odin's Eye. And so this is what I have on my eyes to get today. This is a really pretty multi, uh, multi-chrome. Add that on the inner corner. Um, I went ahead and put this on the first half of the um, eyelid, this on the second half of the eyelid. I did this one right on the brow bone, this one right on top of that. And so, um, yeah, and then I used a couple of Emerite purple eyeliners and um, they have disappeared in the muck. And I don't think I can find them right now, but again, I used a light purple and a dark purple. And so this way that the look went ahead and turned out. So uh, that's the eye look today. Again, really fun palette. Just got it, and I'm having a lot of fun playing with it. So um, going ahead and getting started with all of the complexion products that came out, and they're at the workhorses. I mean, the eyeshadows are really pretty, the highlighters are really pretty, but unless all the complexion products are working for you, then it doesn't really work. And we have a lot of stuff go on this year. Um, let's see, ColourPop developed a whole new line of makeup that they went ahead and brought into Target and Ulta. And so that's a whole new line of makeup that we never even saw before then. Um, Hard Candy developed a whole new line of makeup that we've all been trying this year. Elf, um, Elf, we can start there because they duped everybody and everything. The Elf um, Halo Glow Liquid Filter got really popular this year. I have mine in Fair One. Uh, they now have lighter shades. They have two lighter shades if um, you want to go ahead and they came out just like a month or two ago. Um, but this one is great as a primer underneath your makeup and um, it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. And then they came out with a ton of products and I have a lot of them as you can see. Um, and these are a combination of 
contours, bronzes, highlighters, and blushes. And they all have these kind of poofy ends and um, yeah. As in with my last couple of years, packaging at the drugstore level is always an issue. Uh, these are a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury packaging, and a lot of us just don't like them. They're messy, they waste product, and even though e.l.f. came out with an amazing, amazing formula, these metallic blushes are just absolutely gorgeous, and so are the highlighters that go with them. Let me see, what do I have here? Rose Quartz is probably my favorite of the highlighters, and I'm probably just about at the end of my thing here, but I'm going to go ahead and put some on. So, here we go. And again, metallic really pretty definitely a dupe for the charlotte tilbury and this formula lasts it really does last and it's very very pretty and as you can see i just love putting it on my face so really like the formula the packaging so so and um let's see what else do i have from elf I think those were probably the major ones, and like I said, they really do work. They're very metallic, they are definitely a dupe, and they are very pretty. Um, moving on to something else that happened at the drugstore. Apparently, Relove Revolution has been around mainly in the UK, I would say, before this year, and they went ahead and um, opened up in... Uh, Walmart and for a lot of us that really put the brand right in front of us and um, everything is five dollars and under and they just have just about every kind of product that you could want so um, their super serum um, I've seen several videos so I'm not the only person that thinks that the f finish on this particular uh, foundation I have mine in F2 is just absolutely gorgeous and of course as with so many drugstore brands they could really do to oomph up their shade range it's not horrible but it's not the best either uh, this is a foundation I like it runs right at five dollars so again this is a really really affordable drugstore brand uh, they have highlighters as well and um, so this is one of their single highlighters that they have. I think these run usually around three dollars. Um, all of the palettes that are just this size, and there are a whole bunch of different ones. This one is cute, and um, it's a blush palette that has a blush and highlighter in there, and nice big pans so you can get a big brush in there. And these run at three dollars. Um, so let's see this one is cute this one is kindness and this one is sweet so here are a whole bunch of the different ones and um i don't have all of them but i do have a uh, um, a lot of them so um they also have contour and again these are going ahead and running at um three dollars a piece this one is sugar and this one is light and so uh, this one has bronzer highlight and blush and this one has um, yeah just uh, bronzer and highlight in it so all sorts of different combinations a whole bunch of variety to go ahead and choose from really um, sturdy packaging I mean it definitely is a drugstore packaging but it's sturdy and I like it and then they also did a couple of other things um, again right at the three dollar mark their uh, mascara and this is the long lengthening mascara they also did some lips and um, oh, now I'm gonna have even more stuff on my desk here so um, these glosses, they have baby glosses and baby tints. The baby glosses are going to be lip glosses that have a lot of pigment. Uh, this one that's Babe is a really pretty red. And if you're looking for a red 
for the holidays, this one is $2. And then they had the baby tints, and baby tints can be worn on the cheek and the lips. So um, you don't usually find a product like that in the uh, drugstore, but um, here they are now. And they're good products. I've really been enjoying them. I also haven't gone through them and I've been using them. This is what I've been putting in my purse and what's been, you know, going around town when I'm doing errands. So I am using these and they do last. So it's a good thing. Um, Essence, another company that did a lot this year. Uh, they came out with their Thick and Wow, which is uh, an awful lot like the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. And so they have one that they came out with. Um, they are probably most known for their new blushes that came out this year. And let's see, I have, um, let's see, Berry Cheeks right here. Yeah, this is the one that I have on today. And this one has a lot of pigment to it. Um, this one is going to be Shimmering Rose, and their shimmery ones do have some glitter in them. And um, these are all baked formula. They run at about $5 or so, in the, um, and I pick them up over at Ulta because um, they have them in store, and I don't have to order them that way. And I love that part because I get really tired of having to order things. So this one, again, is... Uh, Bold Heart. Again, a really pretty color. A lot of pigment in these, and they work really well. ColourPop came into uh, Target and Ulta, and they came in raring to go. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some of the palettes here. So, like I said, I've been collecting about one a month from Target, and they put out all these really pretty nine pound palettes over at Target that are pretty much exclusive over at Target, and they're definitely different from uh, what they have on the website, even though um, a lot of these you can find on the website, on the ColourPop website as well. But really pretty, um, and again with that really pretty ColourPop formula. And so I'm actually doing a different video for uh, all of the eyeshadow or all the drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So those are going to be in there. But coming out over at Target, they did, um, let's see, highlighters. This one is Spotlight. Really pretty one. And um, I see pink highlighter. Different from their Super Shop highlighters, these ones are powders. Uh, they also came out with a whole bunch of blushes. Uh, this is matte blush. This one is just cruising. And um, this, I think, is available over at Ulta and over at uh, Target. And then they also came out with powder blushes that have some sparkle in them. This one is Dancing Queen. And um, available over at Target. I think it's over at Ulta, too. Not exactly sure if they're both places. Um, the only thing that I would say is, and again, it's packaging and drugstore products. Uh, you can see I busted the packaging. This is one of my favorite blushes. It was uh, one that I bought to replace a blush that I had used up, and it's gorgeous color. But, you know, if they went to the cardboard packaging, I would be much happier because even though I will use a product until it's gone, I would much rather have a product in packaging that I can trust, especially if I'm going to travel. And this, if I traveled with this, it would get all over all the other makeup. So just a suggestion, ColourPop. I know you've had a lot to do this year. And, um, and you've done it. I mean, you've done a whole nother line, a whole nother makeup line, which I, they say, I, I've i been listening to people saying, well, where has ColourPop been this year? We haven't seen them. And I'm like, haven't you? They're at Ulta. They're at Target. They have whole new lines of makeup that they didn't have before in eyeshadow and blushes and highlighters and 
you know, just about everything. So I, I don't know how you missed Color Pop this year because I certainly didn't. In fact, um, there's an awful lot of Color Pop this year. Uh, they did come out with some blushes. Uh, these ones are cream blushes. They are definitely different from the Super Shocks. And let me grab a Super Shock because these went wildly popular again just by being available in Target. So the Super Shocks usually have a little bit more pigment, I would say, to them and um, then the other uh, so these are the newer ones. They're only available on the ColourPop website right now. They're cream. This is a Super Shock, and um, the Super Shock tends to have a little bit more pigment in them and be a little bit more sparkly. Um, not all of them, but most of them are going to be uh, sparkly where this particular line isn't sparkly. So they've been adding to their lines and uh, both those Super Shock Cheeks, the Super Shock Highlighters, which I have one right here. I have Seismic, which is one of my all-time favorites. You can get it I think you can get it over at Target. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. If you can't get it at Target, you can definitely order it. Um, but again, since they went into Target and Ulta, uh, the Super Shocks have gained even more popularity, and they deserve it because they're a really good pr product. I mean, just all together, a really good product. And um, I had one other one that I use as a highlighter the out of quartz, but really, really pretty. And I have some fuzzies floating around right now. So if you're seeing fuzzies, sorry about that. Um, let's see, what else do I have here that, um, oh, the glowing lip. This one that I have on today, this one is in lavender. Really pretty. And Again, these went over to Target. I know they're over at Target. I think they're over at Ulta as well. Or they may have come with the ultra, ultra Glossy Lip and Ultra Blotted Lip. I actually don't have any of those. But that's a whole new line that went into Ulta. Um, the, ultra, or the Ultimate Ultra Blotted Lip and the um, Ultra Glossy Lip are over at Target, and I don't think I have any of those. Um, but the Glowing Lips, the Ultra Blotted and the Ultra Glossy went to Ulta. The Glowing Lips and the Just a Tint, which, let me find one here. Um, these two went over to Target, and yes, now there are so many different lines of products that, yes, I am getting a little bit confused. So, um, let's move over to Hard Candy next, and we'll go there. Um, Hard Candy came out with these face-off products, and they're really good. I have a couple of the blushes, so I have three of the blushes right here, and then um, they also came out with bronzers. And the nice thing about this is that they have a doe foot, and they aren't nearly as messy as uh, the ones that have the poof. They're all about the same price, um, but um, Hard Candy did come out with the bronzers, so you can just swipe on and then blend. And this one's in Sweet Tea. Um, and then they came out with a whole bunch of blushes in this line. Um, again, they have the doe foot to go ahead and put them on. So they swipe on and you blend them. They're really good. I've really been enjoying them. Uh, part of that same line, the Glow Serum Primer, which I used today, and also the Hard Candy Glow Setting Spray, the 12-hour wear. So uh, Hard Candy's new line launched. They've been adding products to it. They also have some lipsticks, and I know I have one, but um, yeah, it's not going to be 
showing up right now um, that I've really been enjoying as well. And so they're doing all sorts of different new products. They're definitely available in Walmart, um, but they're available all sorts of places being a drugstore brand. Definitely recommend trying some of them. The blushes have different levels of pigment. So they have a couple actually I returned one and exchanged it um, but they have some that are really really light uh, that really light pink the uh, blue pink that was really popular the Do Dior one uh, they had a dupe for that that had a lot of glen glitter not as much pigment these ones that I have have more pigment less glitter um, in fact this one I don't think has any glitter who is she um, Be Real is another good one, and then Sparks Fly is another good one. And all of these ones have uh, more pigment, less glitter, or no glitter at all. So a couple of different formulas for these, and I'm liking them all. Except for the one I took back, which I exchanged, and that was the light blue pink one that didn't work for me at all. But um, yeah, good formula on all of these liking them and liking the packaging and um, let's see a couple of products that aren't drugstore but I've been really loving this year um, my bronzer that I found this one from Mac the light radiant rosy bronzer uh, for me it's light, but it has a little bit of red in there, so um, it's what I have on today, and it just blends a little bit. It helps, actually, this one helps blend out blush. If you're going with a blush that has a lot of pigment, um, add a little bit of this over it in the bottom area of the blush and it will take it down a little bit and then a highlighter will take it down a little bit too and so it works out really well that way um, but again a higher end product that I've been loving and this one I had to mention because I got this um, hourglass one officially two years ago and everybody says there's no way that you can pan hourglass I panned hourglass. Are you seeing that? You seeing all those little crisscrosses there? I panned it. It took me two years, but I panned it. And so uh, the hourglass powders, especially their finishing powders, are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have uh, the ambient one on today. And uh, these powders, yeah, they're worth the price tag and they're pretty pretty amazing and as you can see I'm using mine up I'm not throwing this one out right now um, I'm definitely gonna finish it up it's called the universal powder it definitely isn't as popular as the ambient powders but I really like it and um, I think most of their finishing powders are gorgeous um, I've worked with their blushes which I really like their bronzers I've had some problems finding a color that I like but I'm sure there's one I just haven't found it yet and um, I think probably that's gonna be it for this video not there there haven't been a ton of products because there have been I am definitely doing a drugstore eyeshadow palette that's gonna have ColourPop and a lot of other stuff in it and um, but these are my workhorse products and these are the things that get me to the point where I can play with the eyeshadows and the highlighters and the fun glowy products so um oh there was one other one if i can find it a couple of things um just as far as now that i'm saying workhorse workhorse and you know me i always have one thing that i forgot and uh the nyx fat oil i've been loving this you can see it's almost all the way gone this one's in supermodel uh the color pops so glassy um, and this one is in cyberspace and these two um, to go ahead and I have the so glassy on top of um, 
on top of the lavender glowing look today. And so pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, all these really shiny lip glosses to go ahead and finish your lip look with. Again, really, really pretty. Oh, and that's what happens when I put the product behind me instead of being able to look at it. Uh, the Such a Flirt is what I picked up on Cyber, um, well, Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Uh, these are the Lippy Pencils by ColourPop. Really good product. Uh, really nice product to be able to put on and then just put one of these glosses on top of it. It lasts for a really long time. Between these and the lip stains, and yes, I have a couple of the ColourPop lip stains. Um, just really good products for when you get older and you don't want, you know, it going the lipstick going up and around and looking like a clown. And so using a lippy pencil on a gloss or using a stain on a gloss, uh, they last for a long time and you don't, you're not going to end up with, if you do end up with some bleeding, it's not going to, you know, make you look like a clown. So yeah, I think we had all the products for this particular video. I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing not only a drugstore um, eyeshadow uh, video, but I'm probably going to be doing a catch-up video with a couple of products that I've forgotten to mention that I use. So, um, yeah. But these are the main ones, and they're letting you know what's gone on at the drugstore. Again, it was an explosion this year. There was a lot of new stuff that happened and a lot of changes that happened, and mostly in a good way. I mean, I, I think probably the people over at ColourPop are probably worn out because they've done so much this year. And take a break, honey. Take a break. Um, but come back, okay? Come back. <laughs> and so, um, I think that's about it, and um, I hope uh, year 2023 was really great, and I hope 2024 is amazing for everybody. And so, I'll see you later. Bye.